we are converting the whole chapter force into the form of question answer and this is part 3 okay let's start this is question number 19 why value of g is more at pole but less at equator earth is actually flattened at the pole but bulged at the equator so polar radius is less than equatorial radius since g is inversely proportional to the square of the radius of the earth so small g is more at pole and less at equator this is the short answer now we can understand with the help of diagram look at this at the pole the radius of the earth is less but in the equatorial region radius of the earth is more because earth is flattened at pole and bulge at equator and since acceleration due to gravity is inversely proportional to the square of the radius of the earth and radius is less at pole so g is more at pole that is 9.832 meter per second square but at equator radius is more so g is less at equator that is 9.798 meter per second square okay let's go to another question why a body falls faster at pole than that of the equator now answer is this earth is flattened at pole both at equator so polar radius is less than equatorial radius since g is inversely proportional to the square of the radius of the earth so it is more at pole than the equator till now the same answer hence a body falls faster at pole than the equator we can understand a little detail look at this is north pole and this is south pole and these are the points at the bulge part of the earth and that is equatorial region the radius of the earth at pole is less a radius at the equator is more that's why g is inversely proportional to r square and g is more at pole and less at equator it is similar to the previous question look at this value since g is more at pole that's why the body falls faster but g is less at the equator so body falls slower at equator okay let's go to another question why g varies from place to place of the earth now we can answer this way earth is flattened at the pole same type of answer but balls at the equator so polar radius is less but equatorial radius is more and radius is different in different parts of the earth look at this radius is different in different parts of the earth since g is in mostly proportional to the square of the radius of the earth and due to the variation of radius g is different in different parts of the earth this is all about the radius of the earth look at this is let's say the diagram of the earth and the radius at north pole is less if we go from north pole to this equatorial region then radius keeps on increasing like this now it becomes more and more and it becomes maximum at equatorial region since g is inversely proportional to r square if radius is less at a place like this then g will be more it keeps on decreasing from this north pole to the equatorial region and becomes very less at equatorial region okay now next question why g becomes less when a body is taken to the depth of the earth we are talking about the depth of the earth inside the earth when a body is on the earth surface then whole mass of the earth attracts it towards its center so gravity will be more on the body when the body is taken to the depth the mass left above the body pulls it in the opposite direction than that of the earth center so the resultant force of gravity on the body will be less hence acceleration due to gravity small g will also be less the explanation can be understood this way very nicely this is earth let's say and this is a body on its surface shown with red mark now if we go inside the earth then what happens when it was on the surface whole mass of the earth attracts it but when it is taken inside the earth then not the whole mass the mass which is shown here this mass only will attract this body towards a center but the remaining mass which is away from this body in the opposite direction that attracts the body in the opposite direction that's why the gravitational force becomes less because less mass pulls the body towards the center but a little mass 
pulls the body away from the center that's why total gravitational force acting on the body will be less in comparison with the body when it was lying on the surface so as we go inside the earth acceleration due to gravity will be less okay let's go to another question what is the effect of rotation of the earth on g write down briefly let's say this is earth rotating around its axis since earth is rotating around its axis that's why every object lying on the surface of the earth is rotating around the axis of the earth it means the bodies are moving in a circle if a body moves in circular path then a force x on the body in the opposite direction and this is called centrifugal force because of this centrifugal force the gravity of the earth acting on the body becomes less since the gravity is less that's why acceleration will also be less and its value average value is 9.8 meter per second square but if earth was not rotating around its axis then what happens the gravity on the object lying on its surface will be more and certainly small g will also be more because small g is the acceleration due to gravity okay it can be answered this way value of g is decreased due to the rotation of the earth earth is rotating around its axis so every object lying on its surface is also rotating if a body moves in a circular path a centrifugal force x in the opposite direction than that of the gravity force so gravity of the earth will be less hence acceleration due to gravity will also be less okay let's go to another question number 24 mention the value of g at pole and at the equator this is very short question which can be answered like directly like this g is 9.832 meter per second square at pole but it is 9.798 meter per second square at equator okay let's go to another question write down the relation of g with the height from the surface of the earth we know that as we go up from our surface g decreases that's why we can write like this value of g decreases with the increase of height from the earth's surface okay another question what do you mean by the air resistance this is very interesting the force with which air opposes the motion of the body is called air resistance have you noticed this when a body moves faster then we can feel the air resistance on our body at the back seat of motorbike then the force of air can blow our cap also okay now another question 27 write down the factor which affects the air resistance number 1 surface area if surface area of the body moving in the air is more then air resistance will be high number 2 nature of surface if surface is rough then air resistance will be more if surface is smooth then air resistance will be less next speed of the body if a body has high speed then it will face high resistance but if a body has less speed it will face less air resistance speed increases the air resistance okay let's go to question number 28 what kind of motion produces on a body when it is dropped from great height great height look at this when a body is dropped from great height at first it falls with small g means acceleration due to gravity this body accelerates its velocity goes on increasing due to which air resistance also goes on increasing when a body accelerate every second its velocity is increasing and when velocity of a body is high in the air then the air resistance will also be high when air resistance becomes equal to the gravity acting on the body then the gravity force is ceased a condition comes during its fall the gravity is neutralized by very huge air resistance in the opposite direction that is upward direction then the body falls with uniform velocity when gravity is neutralized body body falls with uniform velocity due to the lack of gravity force okay it can be understood with the help of diagram also a little nicely let's say this is a body we are going to drop it from height 
when it is dropped then we know that it falls in a straight line this way now during its fall what can we observe it is practically observed that let's say up to this much drop the downward force that is the gravity force acting on the body is more and the upward force that is the air resistance is less if air resistance is less gravity is more then the force with which it is falling produces acceleration till this point the body is accelerating because gravity is more than air resistance and that's why we can say that at first it falls with acceleration due to gravity now after this when it falls more and more then a condition comes from this point let's say a condition came that gravity is neutralized by air resistance both the forces are equal when both the forces are equal then what happens gravity is ceased now due to the lack of force it will fall with uniform velocity and this way we can conclude that at first the body falls with acceleration due to gravity because gravity is more than air resistance and at last when gravity is neutralized by air resistance then the body falls with uniform velocity okay let's go to another question 29 describe briefly galileo's experiment of leaning tower of pisa with its conclusion first experiment and then conclusion i want to show diagram first look at this before the galileo there was an old idea that when two bodies having different mass falls in the air a heavy body falls faster than the lighter body this was old idea but galileo challenged this idea he told that whether the body has less mass or greater mass they fall together like this this is galileo's conclusion galileo's statement and he proved this uh, in this leaning tower of pisa many times he dropped a bigger mass and a small mass from the tower both of them fell together every time on the ground so galileo dropped two cannon balls of different mass from the top of the leaning tower of pisa both of them fell together on the ground this was the experiment and what is conclusion it proves that acceleration due to gravity for every substance is same irrespective of their mass okay now let's go to another question what happens when a metal and feather is dropped in air give reason let's go through a video a metal ball and a feather is dropped together but metal ball falls faster than the feather feather is coming downward later than the metal ball air resistance acting on the feather makes it fall later than that of the metal ball that's why we can answer this way metal falls faster than that of the feather it is due to the air resistance mass of the feather is comparatively very less than the metal so gravity of the earth acting on the feather is negligible which can be easily neutralized by the air resistance thus due to the lack of gravity force feather falls with uniform velocity on the other hand gravity on the metal cannot be neutralized by the air so it accelerates and falls faster this way we can write its answer when a feather and a metal ball are dropped from certain height in vacuum now we are doing the experiment in vacuum how they fall give reason now i want to show this uh, video to make you very clear look at this both of them are falling together when they are dropped from certain height in vacuum they are falling together now how how can we write answer we can write this way both of them fall together because acceleration due to gravity for every substance is same irrespective of their mass now let's go to another question how a paratroper lands safely on the earth we can see it with the help of video also look at this video parachute has got very huge surface area that's why the air resistance on the surface of the parachute will be very high and this huge air resistance neutralizes the gravity force acting on the body of the paratrooper so he falls with uniform velocity and that's why surface area of the parachute is very high 
that increases the air resistance which neutralizes the gravity of the earth acting on the paratrooper so he falls with the uniform velocity due to the lack of gravity so his landing is safe otherwise he cannot land safely okay let's go to another question what happens when the paratrooper jumps from aeroplane on the surface of the moon this is the question of moon we can answer this way moon doesn't have atmosphere so due to the lack of air resistance paratrooper falls with the acceleration due to gravity of the moon and landing becomes unsafe if there is acceleration every second velocity goes on increasing and he will fall with very huge force and landing is not safe okay let's go to another question 35 what is weight the force with which the earth attracts a body towards its center is the weight of that body. With what force a body is attracted towards the center of the earth that is our weight. With what force a book is attracted towards the center of the earth that is the weight of that book. In the same way, the force with which a body is attracted towards the center of the earth is the weight of that body. Okay, let's go to another question. Define weight in the sense of measurement. In the context of measurement, in the sense of measurement, we can define weight like this. Weight of a body is the product of its mass and acceleration due to gravity. It means W equal to mg. If mass is more, weight will also be more. Why weight of a big stone is greater than small stone we can answer this way weight of a body is the product of its mass and acceleration due to gravity just before this question i told you and it can be denoted by this formula w equal to mg and g remains same at a place but mass of big stone is greater than the small stone so the product of mass and g that is the weight of big stone will be more than the small stone this is correct answer okay we'll meet in another class also with more question this much for today